resolve merge conflicts with ease, generate and improve commit messages, and even generate Git commands in the new terminal. Let me show you seven ways AI Assistant can help you with version control. Version control is crucial to understanding what happened in the past, but scrolling through the commit history can be terrifying. Did you know that AI Assistant can answer questions you have about your project's version control history? Open the chat window to ask whatever questions you have. AI Assistant can call back to the IDE to get the information you need about your project. For example, you can ask about previous commits or the diffs between commits. You can also ask for a review of your local changes. This can be useful if your work was interrupted by meetings and you want to remember where you were. Besides asking questions, AI Assistant can do a lot of work for you as well, like writing commit messages. Instead of writing your own commit message in the commit tool window, click Generate Commit Message and watch AI Assistant do the boring work for you. If you want your commit messages to have a specific style, you can edit the default prompt. For example, if you want them to be shorter and always include a ticket number, you can still fine tune the generated commit message, such as adding the exact ticket number or explaining why a commit was done. You can change AI Assistant's default prompt via settings at any time without having changes to commit. As you can see, it's currently set to the custom prompt we just created. You can edit the prompt further, for example, to use conventional commits or to use a language other than English. You can restore the default prompt at any time. Now that you have a way of adding proper commit messages, you might wish you could go back in time to fix these whip commit messages. AI Assistant can help here as well. These commit messages aren't really descriptive. Ask AI Assistant for help to fix your commit message before you push changes. Now no one has to know. So now you're adding proper commit messages and your old ones have been fixed, but how can you make sense of old commits? You probably won't be surprised, but AI Assistant can help with that. Let AI Assistant help you understand what happened in a particular commit, or even generate a summary of what happened in several commits. For example, if you had some time off and want to quickly get up to speed with what your teammates have been doing. But don't select the entire commit history. If you want to understand what the project is about, you can also ask AI Assistant questions about your project in the chat. Now, even if we're writing proper commit messages, there might still be bugs in the code. How can we find out? AI Assistant can help with that too. You can ask AI Assistant to help you find problems when working with the code in the editor but it can also help find problems in existing commits. For example, when you're reviewing code, or maybe even to find problems in your code before you push it. And now we've arrived at one of the most frustrating things about version control, resolving merge conflicts. While you were working on a branch, in the meantime, conflicting changes were made. Now you can't merge your changes because there are conflicts. Even though IntelliJ IDEA already has amazing tools to help you with resolving merge conflicts, AI Assistant makes it even easier. Click the AI Assistant icon and there, all done. Finally, AI Assistant is available in the new terminal to help generate commands that you might need. For example, what if you want to go back to the state before you did that last merge? To ask AI Assistant, click the AI Assistant icon on the right. As you may know, git reset min min hard allows you to reset to a specific commit without saving any open changes. And head caret points to the first immediate parent of a merge commit. AI Assistant provides the command for you to run. In the git log tool window, you can see that head is now pointing to the last commit before the merge. Instead of clicking the AI Assistant icon, you can also use the same shortcut you can use to generate code in the editor command backslash on macOS or control backslash on Windows and Linux to ask AI Assistant to generate command. You can ask for other Git commands and AI Assistant will provide the command for you to run. Note that at the moment of the recording, the new terminal is in beta and needs to be enabled explicitly. Open settings, go to tools, terminal and select enable new terminal to start using it. And that's how AI Assistant can help you with version control. If you want to know how AI Assistant can help you understand code, watch this video now.